Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Five feet coming up to the cup. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Oh, so close. And tapping it in for par. Leading by a shot after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Par four, 471 yards. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. Going with the six iron here. This one needs to kick left. Left yourself an opportunity. Uh, 14 footer. Oh, just missed. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. I like the look of this. That looked good for a long time, didn't it? This next part is for bogey. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently two under for the event. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Par four, 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That starts off on a good line. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to three under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Difficult par four, 451 yards. Water and sand all the way down the left-hand side. Hit it out to the right. Find the green with your second and sprint to the next hole, making four. Opting for the six iron. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. One wheat picks too many, I think. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. Well hold. He's currently in a share of top spot. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Seven feet to the cup. Started out on a good line. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to four under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The final hole on the opening nine at TPC Sawgrass's stadium course, Rich, is a clever three-shotter. Par five, 583 yards. Most as a three-shotter. Just find the fairway out to the left. Second shot out to the right, sets up a very simple third shot to a very narrow green. Miss it right or left, good luck getting it up and down. How good is this course? This course is fascinating, would be a good way I would put it. It has quirky angles on every single shot. The tee boxes 
face you at a different angle that the fairway sits. The fairway faces you at a different angle than the green sit. And this is for all 18 holes. And I'm even going to throw 17 in there, even though it is the island green. This golf course that P. Dye designed is fun. It's perplexing. And mentally, it'll wear you out just as much as physically. You better bring your A game if you want to contend this week. And that brings to an end that hole. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like the... Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nicely done. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, looks like this one's about 21 feet to the hole. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here we have a par five. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side, and you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Time for the second shot at the 11th. And here we are with the third shot. Oh. No harm, no foul there with that shot. A good look at birdie here. And mark it down, that birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to six under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here. Par 4, 12th. A new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to seven under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one. But watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two putt from there. Wow, what a shot. Six feet remaining to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. Can make this one. It's for par. And down it goes. Now five shots up after that hole. There's a few birdie opportunities out of the gate here on the second nine at TPC Sawgrass, but it really starts to toughen up down the stretch, starting here with a difficult par 4 14. Difficult tee shot on this plank, some 481 yards from the tip. You find the fairway, and you've got a decent chance of finding the green with your second shot. But if you're out of position anywhere on this hole, your number will go up exponentially. Going with the five iron here. 
Terrific shot. And a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Absolutely. In their clock at Birdie coming up. Tee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par four, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. Looks to be going with the five iron. Well, that's beautifully judged. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. The putt is underway. And that putt drops. Now nine under as we head to the stretch. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Not a bad line, this one. To win the Players' Championship, you've got to run the gauntlet, Rich. Here we are with that big testing second shot at 16. The water down the right-hand side is very obvious. What's not obvious are the grass bunkers on the left-hand side. You hit it in those, no guarantee of getting up and down. If you take on the green and find it, then you're almost guaranteed a birdie four. Yeah, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. <laughs> Terrific shot, almost an eagle. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. He's currently sitting in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack? We'll play the smart shot. Par three, 17th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? Choosing the nine iron here. Oh, what a wonderful play, leading with intent. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Good stroke. Now, that's a bad break there, Rich. Just probably a little bit too much pace. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Now, seven strokes up after that hole. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick, in, to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Well, if you find yourself in the fairway, Rich, of the final hole at TPC Sawgrass, you've obviously navigated a very tough shot. But there's just one more to play. There's one final test. The second shot at 18, water ever so close to the left hand green has a lot of movement from back to front find the right level give yourself a decent opportunity to make birdie but par never a bad score at the 18th at tbc sawgrass oh gee that line was looking good wasn't it and this putt for the tournament and that'll do it rich Players champion. That's one of the elite wins in their career. Winning the Players Championship, Luke, is easily as good as winning any major because the field quality is so amazing. This is going to speak volumes for this player and the career going forward. This is a heck of a win. I can't wait to see what they present.